Well, let's talk a little bit about about uh, you, you mentioned you you played with McVeigh in Washington. So you played quite a few years at the NFL, and I know you played in Canada as well. So talk a little bit about that experience from the standpoint of you know the differences between the two and. Uh, the, and also the difference from going from the SEC to the NFL, because, you know, you always hear every time you take a step up in level, it gets it gets a little bit more challenging. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah, well, the you know, the everybody at that level, you're getting paid for a reason. So you're not playing. You're not going to have the. You know, the quote unquote cupcake games anymore there. Everybody can play. Everybody's getting paid. Yeah. So it's always that, that little bit faster. But the. I mean, the good part about playing the SEC, and I'm not saying this because I played there, there's a majority of the teams are so good with the Alabamas, the when I was playing the Floridas, Georgias, Auburns, teams like that, that it prepared you a lot more than some other places. That's Now, that might be a biased statement. I don't well, no, know. I was going to say, that's what, I don't know if you heard Leonard Fournette was saying during the preseason or, or the first week of the season. That he, I think his quote was that the NFL seemed easy to him, but he ultimately kind of backtrack and say what you said that he just thought the SEC prepared him well. Yeah, it's because you're, and that's the reason why a lot of guys want to play in the SEC nowadays because you know you're going to play against the best every week. Right. I mean, look at it used to be, oh, we're playing Mississippi State. Now you're just going, oh God, we're we're playing Mississippi State. Yeah, like your voice inflection changes with it because it's it's different. So, you know the 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 difference for me was going from the NFL to the CFL and how the field was wider. <laughs> um, oh, no, it was – I remember my first practice up there. I was like, it's just a 10-yard out to the field. It's no big deal. I got this. <laughs> I've done these all my life, Yeah, you know. And then I throw it, and I went, it skipped to about three, three, you know, two, three yards before, and I said, what just happened? Yeah. Wait, hold on. And the coach comes up and goes, I tried to tell you it's, it's six yards wider on each side. And the right. hashes are high school hashes, so it's it's a longer throw. And I was like, yeah, man, you got me, you got me. <laughs> like, okay, you know. And a difference is like, if, like down here, old the old school smash hitch corner, right, right. inside receiver. Right. Down so, here, you're you're looking to throw the corner out. It'll be caught at about 18 yards, 20 yards tops. Well, in Canada, it's going to be caught at about 45. Right. Because they take a different angle because the field's mm-hmm. wider. They go. They go farther downfield and you got to throw it up right. so it's things like that were the different part but i mean and, as long as the quarterback knows what they're doing and has the arm for it they can get it done and aside from the obvious answer to what i'm about to ask what what's the how how different is the three downs instead of four? First down's a lot more crucial okay. don't wrong, down here first down is crucial to keep you on pace down and distance wise but first down there if you don't get five yards or four yards, right, you're way behind the eight ball because now it's now it's down here. It's third and ten, right, um, right. And especially if you get a penalty and it goes second and fifteen, right. And it just, it, uh, yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah. Again, first down's a lot more crucial, a lot more. Um, but the one thing that I I really had to get used to was most teams have their third quarter. They have to dress three quarterbacks up there. Right. Most teams' third quarterback is a uh, um, a runner, where it's the quarterback sneak quarterback. Mm-hmm. So it's that was something I had to get used to. That if you're listed as the number three, typically not always, but typically you're not you're only in to run quarterback sneaks because on second and one they do quarterback sneaks because the defensive line has to be one yard off the ball. Ah, okay. That was that was a different thing because I, I remember our first game when my rookie year up there, I said, why we got stopped on the six inch line. Why is the ball on the one? Right. If you get stopped inside the one, the ball goes back to the one. So the ref doesn't have any indecision on if the defensive line was all, uh, one yard off the ball. Ah, I see. So it always goes to the ball never gets spotted inside the one yard line. It was the, okay. unless you're backed up. Gotcha. But when you're going, it was the craziest thing ever. I said, like, what is going on up here? I, <laughs> well, I thought, I, yeah, I thought it was, it was cool. 
I thought one of the funniest stories you ever told me, of course, it may have been just part of the story, but when we were when we were broadcasting that one night, I guess it was at Montreal, maybe where you were playing. But you said that you had walked home after the game. I just thought that was really funny because you never think of a professional quarterback or any player <laughs> being able to walk home after the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, because Montreal, it's, it's such a metropolitan city that. Nobody, no player. Really, I mean, some drive their cars, but most guys live downtown. Right. So you either just take the subway or you walk home. And I only lived 12 minute walk from the from the game stadium. So I just I'd walk. I'd walk there before and walk home after. But it was a brutal, brutal walk if you got beat up during the game. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the longest 12 minutes ever. <laughs> what, what, what would you say? Um, I know when people think about. Canada specifically, they think hockey automatically. But what would you say it was the the fan reaction or interaction that you saw in your years there? Did they did they support the team? Was it well received? Are they knowledgeable? How did you feel about all that? Oh yeah, no they they love football up there. Um, obviously, hockey is number one, but they love football. And the uh, Saskatchewan Rough Riders actually have one of the top apparel is are one of the top apparel selling teams in North America. I um, did wow. not know that. They yeah. they are well. There's nothing there, nothing else there in okay. the whole province. That's true. Yeah, nothing else there but the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, and they are crazy about them in a good way. But just it's they live, breathe, and die Saskatchewan Rough Riders. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, well, Jonathan, so, so, we go ahead. Uh, go ahead. No, I was going to say staying on the CFL. Um, you know, your time in the CFL, you know, was really the first chance you got in professional football to play an extended time during a regular season. So what, if anything, did you learn, you know, during your time, um, years in the NFL that you brought with you over to the CFL that you could really had a chance to transfer onto the field for the first time? And taking the differences in the game aside. Um, well, just the preparation, mm-hmm. um, how I, you know, I, I never like to be out, out prepped. I always like to be able to, because once again, like I said, I've had a new offense every year, so I'm used to learning. So I always tried to make sure that, you know, the headsets go out all the time. As much as people would like to think they don't, your headsets go out all the time. Um, yeah. I always like to be able to have those play calls in my head ready. Mm-hmm. So it was the biggest thing for me was taking from learning from guys like Philip Rivers, Rex Grossman, Tom Brady, right. learning the prep of how to, have each formation and each personnel have four plays ready in your head. If something happens, you have a go-to for a down and distance. Right. 